a helicopter in Vermilion. A quote from the film North Sea Hijack, or if you live in America, Folks, starring Roger Moore in between Bond films. For today, we're not playing North Sea Hijack, but Rig Attack by Timesoft. And starting on the CPC 1985, we've got five helicopters, got to get six submarines. And you start off in the air on the CPC version, take note, and you're flying across the North Sea and you have to attack the submarines who are attacking all the North Sea oil rigs. The uh, oil rigs are all quite close together. You have limited fuel, but there's no fuel gauge, but the colours at the bottom of the screen will change colour. Scrolling is particularly annoying. It's that type of scrolling you sometimes get on the CPC where everything stops when you <laughs> when it starts to scroll. We're looking for these submarines. And there's an increasing amount of submarines on each level, although each level looks exactly the same. It's a wraparound map. Your BPR. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's a submarine there. All we got to do is shoot him. Now, our missiles can't reach all the way down to the screen, so we've got to get low enough to shoot him, or he's got to come high enough to get us. And one thing I noticed on the CPC version is the helicopter can't go diagonally, which I means you can only go up, go up, down, left and right, which is which makes flying when you're in combat very unpleasant. We're over to the BBC. And it's much more playable than you notice. And you've got a fuel gauge. Each oil rig, or most of the oil rigs, have a landing pad on the way land to get more fuel. And your fuel runs out very quickly. And it's quite easy, or easier, to shoot the baddies on this version on the BBC Micro. They're much slower, and you've got a slightly better range on your helicopter. It's not to be too low. Oh, that was that was too low down. And you'll notice on the BBC version, you start off on the launch pad, on the helicopter pad, and you can refill straight away, whereas on the CPC, you start in the air. Over to the Acorn Electron, separate version for the Elk. Had to load this off of cassette because it wouldn't work on my SD card adapter due to the way the memory is used. Apparently a new version is out that gets around that problem. I need to look at that. Uh, so I'll be buying another SD card adapter. You can't redefine the keys, but the key layout isn't too bad. So graphically, it's already looking very similar to the BBC Micro. Um, but it does already feel slower. As I said, the map wraps around, so you can go either way, and you can see the scrolling is completely different to the BBC Micro, and the gameplay is much slower. There goes the submarine, and when there's a submarine around, you can't land and refuel. You, well, you can land, but you won't get any fuel, so you'll just be a sitting duck for the enemy submarine who can shoot through the oil rigs, BP can't be too pleased about the branding on this game. Um, every oil rig pretty much says BP on it. British Petroleum as it was then. And uh, yeah, but that was done without permission. Over to the C-16. Oh, this version is running on a plus four. And a helicopter. In Vermilion. Yeah, your helicopter's dark red. And it's got some nice scrolling and lots of detail on the C-16. It's much smoother than the Electron or CPC versions. BP branding all over the shop. And you'll notice one thing about Rig Attack is you can wait ages for a submarine to turn up. Here comes one. Now there's a tr oh, no, there's a trick on the C16 version where you have to be going the same direction as the submarine and uh, then you get a bit ahead and drop the bomb. Back to the CPC. There's some border effects going on there. The bottom border indicates how much fuel you have, starting off with green and going through to red, but it's not a proper gauge, which is really, really annoying. My fuel's now down to yellow, 
and the little submarine is move how come the submarine can move as fast as the helicopter i mean i know this helicopter has fuel issues and that it runs out incredibly quickly but the fact that it moves at the same speed as oh i'm dead yeah cpc version is not much fun and not very enjoyable back to the c16 or c16 running on a game running on a plus four here we go go in the same direction get ahead of them and shoot works pretty much all the time another version without a fuel gauge is this version uh, just the border color changes that's currently green although the submarines are stalking the oil rigs they don't actually cause them any harm you think they could shoot them and bits would start blowing up and you could protect them almost like missile command and that would be fun but this game doesn't do it you basically hunt for the submarines refuel and that's it and when you complete the level it's the same surroundings you loop around again just with more submarines to kill there we go and once you've worked out the strategy for each version that's it you can always get the enemy sub the enemy submarines don't get faster they don't alter their patterns it's just boring 2022 new vision calendar is still available in limited quantities 16.99 gets you an a3 calendar full of original screenshots to help support the channel you can even throw in a pen and a badge as well for a couple of quid more back to the bbc micro and level three with what nine submarines to get but the surroundings are exactly the same and you begin to notice the submarines always spawn in the same places on the bbc so there's always a submarine near the start point if you when you first start and when you lose a life and if you do lose a life the second submarine will be in the same place the third submarine will be in the third place and so on the placement's exactly the same it's not random well at least as far as i can see perhaps someone could correct me there but in playing this um for quite a while i couldn't see any variations it always seemed to certainly the first submarine always seemed to be in the same place and the last one always seems to be quite hard to find like it's deliberately part uh place the furthest away from the second to last if you see what i mean oh no not got a high score though bbc version is more polished than the elk version but the elk version which we're going to go to in a second is easier because of that lack of speed oh you see that character scrolling there which uh it's quite jerky the game doesn't lose too much i mean <laughs> let me rephrase that a game that doesn't have much doesn't lose much in its translation to the elk gameplay's the same just lose that scrolling and it's a little bit slower because of the memory it's you basically lose life because of your own stupidity it's not the game itself Another high score. Yeah, it's my best score, 1,200. Rig attack. Well, for a Tynesoft game, it's not completely dreadful. Well, not on the BBC and Elk anyway. It's, it's a good five minutes of fun there, not much more. Once you've mastered it, that's it. And you're, there's no more to see. It's just increasing numbers of submarines and that's it. Not even night levels, as far as I can see. C16 version suffers from the same problem, doesn't look as nice as the BBC and Elk versions, and that's a system with more arcade shooters that you could enjoy, so there's perhaps even less reason to play Rig Attack. The Amstrad version is embarrassing. It's, it's Rig Attack, but basically unplayable because the submarines move at the same speed as the helicopter and of course there is just one level they don't get faster then they start off slower it's just what it is it's basically a game that's almost like a very polished typing and nothing more you might want to check this out for a quick blast on the bbc elk or c16 on the amstrad just just avoid but in time soft terms it's not totally terrible 